the salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today in the city of Santa Ana. This is the Goodwill Marketplace. If you guys want to come check it out, tell them Hadrian sent you. But if you guys love thrifting and thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting ventures. But without further ado, let's hop in the store and go check it out. All right, let's check out Computer Works first. All right, you guys, we are inside the Computer Works store. They got a MacBook Pro. 160. We got this TV right here. If you guys have ever been here, they have a ton of computers. They have laptops, Asus, Acer, HP, Dell, MacBooks, TVs, speakers. They also have a ton of printers. Check out these. These are like serious printers too. They even have like a computer cases. VCRs and Whatever those things are. Keyboard as far as the eye can see. Oh, this is one of those square things you can pay. We have monitors, sorts of gadgets. And then around the corner is the regular Goodwill store. I haven't been to this store in a hot second. Last time I was here, they had like a bunch of those. Uh, Disneyland lost and found stuff items and I found a ton of cool sunglasses if you guys want to check out the video I'll have a link for you guys to check out Right now. I'm looking through the handbag seeing if we can find anything exciting But they look pretty sparse today Yeah, the handbags are looking pretty sad, but probably because it was just the weekend So they're still trying to replenish everything don't usually go thrifting on Mondays at all so it's understandable how sparse this is. Oh my gosh, look at those little flipper fin things. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, that's a fake coach. All right, let's go check out the rest of the store. Let's go back to like the hard goods where they have like the home decor and stuff. Um, they have tons of shoes. If you guys ever want to come check out the store, I think this is the largest. This is actually the largest one in Orange County. This is the flagship Goodwill store here. So it is massive. Actually also have the Goodwill outlet attached to here it's called the marketplace it's around the corner and everything is sold by the pound so if you guys ever want to go check that out we're over here it's pretty cool you can literally spend the whole day here just looking at everything because there's so much stuff to see but look at all these tables oh that's a studio mickey console table they have all sorts of table or tables chairs Dining chairs, there's bar stools over there as well. Look at this. This is kind of cool, $12.99. An Opal House piece too. This is probably a Studio Mickey art piece back there. They have a ton of artwork if they're looking for anything like that. Oh, this one's huge. Very yellow. Here we have a lot of vases. You guys already know I do love a good vase. But if you're ever looking for a vase, a glass one, Goodwill, thrift stores in general are such a good place to go and check them out because they are so much cheaper than like the store. And sometimes you can find like a really good brand or something too. Oh, I've seen these before. Anchor Hawking, these are cute. These are pretty nice too. I'm always looking to see if there's any like crystal that I can find that's from a brand like Tiffany & Co or Mikasa or anything like that. And of course the mugs are my weakness so I always love to look through here and see if there's anything cool. I do love to collect like Starbucks mugs. I like to look for Anthropology. Pottery Barn, anything like that. I also spotted two Pamper Chef pieces. There's this mini loaf one. Oh, there's actually three. There's this one, and then the Bunt. Those are really nice. They're like perfect for like baking. So, so good. You always get like an even bake when you use them. So I always like to look for them too. I like to look for the pans, like the baking pans. We like to give them as gifts for Christmas. 
um, just like bake stuff and then give it to our neighbors and then they can keep the container as well. And it's perfect. And those things are really expensive too if you buy them full price. So I think they're always a good find. Especially if you're looking for cool gifts like that for the holidays. Now I'm in the plate section. These are fun little vegetable plates. This looks colorful. Ooh. Here one with a you could call it a tulip. Dinnerware is like one of my passions. <laughs> Did this for. Let me know if any of you guys are like that. Comment down below. Because I just love like setting the table and changing it up. I love collecting it. Uh, when I get too much, I usually will send older pieces that I'm no longer used to my family like in the Philippines. And dinner where there is so expensive. So I always send some in the boxes that we send over there every few months. So it's a good way to be able to send stuff to them and also like change up my stuff. So I really like that. Being able to do that is really nice. And they really like it too. But I don't think I see any plates today, which is a shame. Because I do love, but this is so cute. I do love a good plate. Oh, this thing is actually super cute. How cute is this? Party light. Blish blue Stilton cheese. Fancy. It has a chip in it though. Also, as a rule, I can't buy anything chipped. Oh, this is pretty with the stars, but there's only one. This is the furniture on this side. There are those tools. Oh, how fun are these? They're candlestick holders, but they're um, palm trees. I tried to Google search these guys, but then these are the ones that are coming up. These are like super expensive. But these are not it, because these are like jeweled glass candlestick holders, and these are not jeweled glass. But they do feel really heavy. I don't need those. <laughs> they are super duper cute though. I do love a good candlestick holder as well. But my collection is mostly all crystal stuff. So they're bringing out all the Christmas stuff already, which is fun. So I might start picking stuff up already for the holidays if I see anything that I like. Oh, they have one of these automatic dispensers. I'm in the knickknacks. Oh, the unicorn is so glittery. Oh man, this section is empty. All the backpacks are gone, that's usually what they have here. And most of the linens are gone too. Palm tree, uh, palm tree out of a horn. Lamp, interesting. The owl, these little ones are cute. Oh, this is actually super duper cute. It's a little heart. There's two gentlemen over there looking at a Dyson fan that I wanna look at too. Uh, but I feel like it's not working. Alright you guys, we are now in Costa Mesa. We're gonna go over to Crossroads, which is right over there. Let's go inside and check it out. Looking at the wallets first. I wonder if that's a Bottega. I'm gonna have to ask to take a look at that. Oh no, a Kate Spade with a penguin. I have to get this for, <gasps> it's half off. There's also this cute Tori. It's a little expensive though, but it's pretty nice. I wonder if I can find anything else. I think I literally have this bag. <laughs> Ooh, I like the strap on this. Oh, it's from Anthropology. I like the strap, but I don't like the bag. Kate Spade is really pretty, but it's expensive, 65. 
guys! Okay, so we are back at the house and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting today from the Goodwill. So in this one, we went to the Santa Ana Goodwill. It's a Goodwill Marketplace. It's the big flagship store. And I only, I only got two things. <laughs> I only got two things. But I actually have stuff that I thrifted from another Goodwill. And for some reason, I lost the footage for this shopping trip that I took there. So I'm just gonna include them here, kind of like show you guys like the haul of everything. Thing. So let me start off with what I got from the Goodwill that we actually went to today. And this is one of the things that I got. I got this um, Studio McGee. This is one of those round travertine ball object things. And I actually already have a set of these that I thrifted. I have them in the living room. I love them. But I actually got this for one of my aunts. And I think she's going to love it. She loves like home decor stuff. And I told her I was going to get her cool stuff. So I, there's actually a couple of them that I said I was going to get cool stuff. I just bring, like, whenever we have, like, a family gathering, I just, like, bring everything together and, like, let them have at it and they can just pick whatever they want. So, I got this. I think it's really cool. I think they're really gonna like it. So, I got that. Then the other thing that I got is I got another one of these Waterford crystal frames, which I think is super pretty. So, now I can display photos or this might be another thing that I give to my aunts as well. I'm not sure, but... It's really, really pretty, so I had to get this. This was $4.99, and the rock thing was $10 for the travertine rock. But, yeah, isn't this so pretty? It's, like, so crystally and beautiful. I know it's hard to see because it's, like, super clear, but... Put this over here away from the rock. I feel like the rock is, like, trying to scratch it. And then, this is the other stuff that um, I got from another store. And I don't know what happened to the footage. I think I accidentally deleted it. But let me start off with this. This is a beautiful blue and white vase. It's by Formalities by Bomb Brothers. Uh, I didn't know Bomb Brothers made, like, vases. I thought they only made, like, plates and mugs and stuff like that. But I guess it makes sense that they make vases as well because they make, like, porcelain things. But this is so pretty. I just love the design. I love the print on here. I thought this was super duper cool. It was $7.99. So, yeah, got this. I think it would be really pretty with some peonies or something. I don't know. The other thing that I got is I got this really cute fanny pack. It's by a brand called Big Bud. And this is actually like a brand that's made here in LA. So I picked it up. I thought it was pretty cool. It was $5.99. And I think I might like put this in the shop. I feel like it's like a cool... Like a belt bag you can carry like this or like a fanny pack, you know, that you can carry. Um, I got this and yeah, I thought this was... God, my... Who cares? <laughs> ah, I touched it. Now it looks even crazier. What did I do? And then I got this Rebecca Minkoff satchel. It's really dirty. Like, I think this needs like a rehab video. But the inside is not dirty. Like, the inside's pretty clean. It's the exterior that kind of looks a little crazy. So I think they might do a video like kind of restoring the exterior. I don't exactly know what's wrong with it. It might actually be like, um, nowadays that we use like so much hand sanitizer and all those things. It might have just gotten all over this and then it, like discolored or did something to the leather. Like when I rub it, like it doesn't come off or anything. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if like conditioner will do the trick or something. I don't know. But I think it'll be like a cool, fun little transformation. And I haven't done a handbag rehab video in a hot second. Then the next thing that I have, this one was super duper cute. And I honestly thought that this was, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, is it Bottega Veneta? But it's just, it's a black, very similar looking bag to Bottega Veneta. It looks, it's like a really good dupe, I guess you would say. It's all leather. Um, It's just gorgeous, like... I don't even know. Right? It's leather, right? Yeah. It smells like leather. Yeah, it's definitely leather. It's really kind of dirty on the inside. Right there. Uh, I, I was like looking everywhere for like a Bottega Veneta stamping or something. But I think like it's just like in the corner. Like I don't think it's like anywhere like on the front. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not like too familiar with a Bottega Veneta like these new large ones like this. Like the large woven um, bags. I'm obsessed with the cassette bag though. Like I would love to add a cassette bag to my collection. I think those bags 
are amazing and I love them and this is kind of like the tote version of how they do the leather um so I, I I might keep this for myself I don't know but I really really like this bag I think it's gorgeous and it's a great dupe for the Bottega Veneta one because I was fooled at first because I was like oh my gosh real leather and then I was like Bottega Veneta where's the sign where does it say it but Unfortunately, or like does it have like a pouch? I don't know. I really need to do more research But I honestly don't see anything in here that would otherwise This is just me wishing and hoping and trying to turn this into it, but we're manifesting hard you guys We're gonna get one of those bags one day, but that is actually gonna be the end of the video Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys had fun checking out the store um, And seeing what I got. I know I didn't really buy too much at the store But luckily and luckily and unluckily I had this little haul of stuff from that other video that I didn't um, get to fully make because I lost the footage. But I hope you guys had fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. That always helps immensely. Check out the vlog. It's going to be up at uh, up today at 2. I do post videos every single day now from November and December and possibly into the new year. Who knows? But uh, check that out. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow by early at 7 and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye guys!